Hello and welcome back to a special episode of Speculative Dude Reviews. Uh, as I promised, to continue my series on racing movies is I wanted to address something that has really bugged me ever since I found out about it. Uh, uh, it most people are familiar with the Fast and the Furious series. It's, it's got, it, they just finished their sixth film last summer. Uh, they're working on the seventh film, obviously, with uh, Paul Walker's unfortunate or untimely uh, death. There's you know, obviously some changes they have to have to be made, but uh, you know this is a you know fairly long running series. It's lasted since 2001. So uh, there's oh, there's I didn't find out about this. Uh, I don't know if you I don't wouldn't call it controversy, but this opinion until a few years ago, or actually a couple years ago, when I started watching more actively searching out other racing movies from outside the United States. Specifically, the first time I ever saw the movie Legend of Speed. Um, you saw my review. It's actually not a bad movie. It just has some big problems, as does Fast and the Furious. You know, I'm not here to defend or, you know, say anything against either film. But the problem is that I've seen I've seen this online numerous times. In fact, quite literally, hundreds of posts of people claiming that Fast and the Furious ripped off uh, Legend of Speed. And for three main reasons, or I should say, the argument they make is uh, there's three main arguments that, and, and I don't think any of those arguments hold any water. Uh, it, you know, it really bothers me when people say make a statement like that, and it's like, no, that doesn't make any sense, or that's completely untrue if you watch the movie. Uh, so, as I said, I'm uh, I'm going to address those three issues, and. This is not saying either movie is better than the other. Both movies do some things well and some things not well. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Legend of Speed, great drama, really poor uh, work in the, in the car work driving and racing department. Now, I'm not saying Fast and the Furious does excellent in the racing department. It's not exactly realistic either. But it's still better than... Legend of Speeds, and the cars, there's a wider, much wider variety of cars and interesting, but obviously the drama is not there. You know, like I said, they both do some things right and some things wrong. Like I said, you guys, you know, give your own opinions on what, which ones you think are better and for what reasons. You know, that's up to you. But like I said, I'm just here to debunk the reasons why I think these movies are not, uh, like, why I think Fast and Furious was not a ripoff of, uh, of Legend of Speed. He'd, uh, and the first one is, as I've heard people compare, say that, you know, the main actors, or the main characters are the same in the movies. Um, and the biggest problem with that is most of the time they're comparing, uh, trying to compare Dom's character as the leader in Fast and the Furious to the character of Skye as a leader in Legend of Speed. The first, there's a couple problems with that. The first one being Dom is not the main character. Of Fast and Furious. In fact, he didn't become the main character until uh, he and he and uh, Paul Walker became essentially co-main characters in the fourth movie. Uh, in the first movie, the main character was Paul Walker. Said uh, he was the cop who you know was trying to find his place in the world, finds his home with you know with a bunch of street racers. You know that's you know that's his character. Uh, Sky, on the other hand, you know is a honestly. Uh, he's kind of a young, rich asshole who, you know, ha is surrounded by people who most of them like him for his money. Not all of them, but most of them. You know, and he has to go, he's the one who goes through the journey to become a better person at the end of the movie. And I think it's done, again, the drama is great in that movie, it's done well. But that's not Dom. Dom is not the main character. Paul Walker is the one who has to go through a journey and find out what he really wants. You know, does he really want to be a cop? Does he really want to be... You know, does you know it? By the end of the movie, he comes to respect Dom, and that's you know that's very different. I said that's why the as I said the first problem is you know is, is that Dom is not the main character. You know, that's issue number one that that throws the whole thing of it's like well the main characters are the same no they're not not even close. And as I said, even if you were to compare Dom and Sky, uh, their characters aren't even close. What they're both the leaders, uh, or you know, kind of the heads of these you know street racing crews. Uh, Dom does it because he's earned everyone's respect, and uh, you know, yes, he's a thief, but he's uh, 
you know, as, as odd as it might sound to say he's a thief with a sense of honor, because um, I don't even know if that's actually possible, but uh, I think you might understand what I'm saying if, if, I, if you hear me say that. Uh, is that, you know, you show his character doing all, all this thing, including worrying about, you know, you find out why he was banned from racing, uh, you know, what he did, you know, and shows that he regrets it. Sky, on the other hand, as I said, he's a young, rich, arrogant punk who ha you know, who's gotten out of trouble his whole life pretty much because of his mom's money and connections. And then he finds himself in a situation where even she doesn't think she can help him, or thinks, you know, it may be beyond to help him. So he has to go help himself. He, has to, he leaves the country, goes to find his dad, learns a lot about himself. You know, it's a, you know, in a way you could say he goes on a journey of self-discovery. You know, with the help of his estranged father. You know, like I said, the characters are nothing alike. And like I said, that's, you know, that's always bothered me when people try and claim that there's something somewhere. They're both, they're both the head of, of a street racing crew. That's, first of all, any, most racing movies are going to have someone who's kind of the head of, you know, that's not, not something, you know, that's uncommon. And you can say that, you know, oh, that's, that's a ripoff of it. No, it's not. Come on, that's just stupid. The second one is the character, is a comparison of a background character. And this one, honestly, is probably the one that bothers me more than anything. Um, I addressed it in my Legend of Speed review, and that's the character of Pandy, who has, like I said, something neurological. Um, like I said, perhaps it's similar to cerebral palsy, you know, perhaps it's something else, I don't know. Uh, but it's clearly something is, you know, is wrong. Uh, and comparing the character of Pandy with the character of Jesse from Fast and Furious. And honestly, this, this comparison almost offended me on, on many levels. Uh, specifically, Pandy clearly, as I've said, has something wrong with him. But he knows his engines. You know, he's a savant in that area. Again, I addressed that in the, in the Legend Speed review. Whereas Jesse, most of the time, honestly, seems kind of seems like he's high on something. But there's one time where he mentions, "Oh, I have ADD." Or he says, "He says I have that what attention deficit, dis you know, something." And uh, Paul Walker goes, "What ADD?" He goes, "Yeah, I've got that shit." And it's like um, you're trying to compare, you know, for for people who are comparing these, you're trying to compare someone who's supposed to have ADD to someone who has is something similar to cerebral palsy? You're, you're trying to say that those characters are... How stupid are you to try and connect those two characters? I have ADD. Most people who have ADD actually are able to live perfectly normal lives. Is, you know, what, they both work on engines? Wow, there's never been a racing movie where you had someone who worked on an engine, or who was a mechanic. You know, it's just, you know, actually, trying to compare those two characters, like I said, offends me. They, the people would try to say, just because he has ADD, and he has, you know, some kind of neurological disorder, that there's some connection between the characters? There's some ripoff? No. No. That's just, you know, that's, honestly, that's just stupidity. Now, the third thing that people try and compare is, honestly, the mo uh the one on the dumbest level, the dumbest comparison level. And this one is just, you know, I think myself and I think anyone who knows anything about movies, period, or whether it's movies, cars, whatever, should just roll your eyes when you hear people say this. They're bo what, they both have street racing in it. Wow, yeah, that's never been done. Yeah, street racing movies were never made before Legend of Speed and never made after Fast and the Furious. It's only those two, and clearly one ripped off the other for the purposes of, you know, it's like, come on! How lazy are you people with your character, you know? <laughs> like, there's no, there is nothing similar about these movies. Yeah, they have street racing in it. Yeah, you have a character who is in charge of the street racing crew. That doesn't mean these car these movies are even similar in any remote way, shape, or form. There's nothing about them that's similar. So they both have cars. 
Well, then I guess every movie that's ever been made since then must have been a ripoff. Uh, uh, every movie about cars, you know, full throttle, that must have been a ripoff. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, I guess the entirety of the, you know, so the, as I said, the entirety of the Full Throttle series must have been, you know, a rip-off of, of uh, Legend of Speed. And, uh, what's, what was it? Torque. Yeah, that was definitely a, a rip-off of... It's like, come on! You know, comparing these movies is, you know, is just absurd. That, plus the fact that uh, the Fast and Furious writers are constantly citing their uh, source influence. Whereas uh, a Legend of Speed was made because uh, E. Ken Chang, this was a movie he wanted to make. There's no connection between these movies. In similarity, nothing. Yeah. Just, you know, I really wish people would stop trying to compare them. Now, of course, I know people aren't going to stop just because I say it. But it really bothers me when people will compare these things because it doesn't make any sense. You know, you sit down and watch these movies, whether it's side by side or separately, and there's no connection there. You know, now obviously everybody's free to do what they want. You know, they're, you know, um, you know, it just really bothers me when people try and put down one series or movie by saying it's nothing more than a ripoff of another one, when they don't examine any either one's good points or bad points, and that was the that was the problem. Um, I actually saw one person. One person online on one forum, I can't remember which one, it wasn't a forum, uh, I don't think it was IMDB, I think it was one of the other just movie discussion uh, forums that was discussing uh, Legend of Speed, and he made a very good point. Now, he didn't like Fast and the Furious either. He said he, you know, he thought it was very unrealistic, he didn't, you know, he didn't like it, but he pointed out some of the flaws, and some of the flaws that I've pointed out in Legend of Speed as well, and just said, and made it, you know, very clear, he's like, he said, you people are so, you know, so adamant about, you know, this movie. You're free to like that movie. You know, I have nothing against people like it. Honestly, I like both Fast and the Furious and Legend of Speed. But it's like, when you get fans of one thing, they are so defensive about it that they will not, uh, that they refuse to acknowledge when it has flaws. And it does have flaws. They both have flaws. Huge flaws, in fact. But it really bothers me when people want to put down one just because they like another one. You know, that's you know that's not the way to grade any movie. You know, for example, you know, honestly, I like the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans much better than the, than the newer ones. But you know what? That's just me. I'm not going to put down the newer ones just because I like the other ones. I point out the problems I have. And believe me, the Sam Raimi ones have plenty of problems. I just found them to be more entertaining. And that's, you know, that's an issue that a lot of people have when they're talking about movies. You know, and I've had to learn this myself over the course of reviewing movies, because honestly, I found myself coming up to a place where I can actually, even movies I love, I can pick apart and make it, and I will pick them apart so much that it'll sound like I hate them. But I don't. You know, whether a movie is a guilty pleasure or a movie I actually really enjoy, you can always find flaws in it. That doesn't mean that it's ripping off another movie, just because a, a premise may be somewhat similar, or because there is an element that is similar. Now, in this case, the only element that's similar is they both have some car racing in them. That's it. In a way, you could say that uh, at the end of you know at the end of the movie, they both end with a dramatic you know car race. And that's that's it. You know that's not. That's a that's a movie premise. That's not doesn't mean one ripped off the other. You know, hopefully we can all you know push past these kinds of things when we're watching movies and learn to judge a movie on its own. Now, obviously, in some cases there are obvious you know ripoffs. You know, but this isn't one of them. You know, this is not a you know this isn't one ripping off the other. This isn't anything. You know, you want to hate on one movie or the other. You know, that's fine. Comparing them is just absurd. Now, uh, now, coming down off my high horse for that, <laughs> that uh, coming up tomorrow actually will be the release of the latest uh, installment in the Godzilla series. Um, it's an American Godzilla movie. 
Now, I'd heard back when the last Godzilla, or the last Toho Godzilla had been made, uh, Godzilla Final Wars, that uh, there would be, or there would in fact be, uh, they would be rebooting the franchise after they had kind of let it rest for a few years. And they did. You know. I was not expecting them to re, or the, the, re, the restart to be an American movie. Um, so I have to admit that caught me off guard. Uh, not gonna lie, a little bit hesitant about it because of the Roland, 1998 Roland Emmerich film. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that it looks like it's a lot, it's much more faithful to the source material, whereas in the Emmerich version, it's actually noted that he, he looked at, looked at it and said, the source material is stupid, I can do it better. Yeah, well, most people, who, obviously the internet wasn't as big back in 1998, I mean it was there, but it wasn't anywhere near as big as it is now. So now, if a director makes uh, says something like that, it pretty much bombs the film. Uh, you know, I think I think a lot of people almost would have rather have heard him say that back then, so they knew it was going to be terrible. But uh, you know, we you know anybody who goes to see a Godzilla movie goes to see fun, entertaining a giant monster, you know, wreaking havoc and hopefully fighting other monsters. You know. So we'll see how this one goes. We know it. We know that it does meet those criteria. He will be fighting other monsters. He'll be, uh, you know, obviously wreaking havoc. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's hard for me to go in with high expectations just because of the Emmerich film, despite the fact that this does look much better. Uh, the trailers look really good. You know, it's you know, if you're looking for a monster disaster movie, the trailers at least look pretty good. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't, uh, I don't really know what's gonna go, what's gonna happen, but you know we'll see soon enough. I'll definitely be putting up a review on that one. So, you know, until next time, that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Speculative dude, out. <laughs>